Here's the LA Wave forecast for February 2nd, 2012. This is an update on my long-term forecast of the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and NDX. Uh, on the, on the five-year chart of the Dow, this is my wave count. Uh, the move from 6,500 to about 8,700 in the Dow is wave one. Got a zigzag wave two down to about 8,100 in the Dow. Got a third wave from 8,100 to 11,250. And the flash crash is wave four. And it's in a small zigzag to uh, about 9,600. So we got one, two, three, four, and the fifth wave is an extension. Or actually, it's it was actually point it was exactly 0.618 times wave one plus wave three, and that's a typical length of a fifth wave. So you take 0.618 times wave one plus wave three, tack it onto the bottom of the four, and you have exactly 12,875, and that was uh, that was the peak target of fifth wave for the Dow. So we got one, two, three, four, flash crash, fifth wave at 0.618 times wave one plus wave three. Followed by the um, corrective wave two, which was an ABC and a small, and the C wave was, it was pretty small, but turns out it'd be uh, a zig, uh, a zigzag with a small C. You got A, B, and then C to uh, about ten thousand four hundred four in the Dow. So five waves up, wave wave two in a zigzag, and then the pattern break wave three, which, like I said, is. Um, my my most favorite well for the past 10 years 10 11 years i've been trading with elliott wave it's my favorite uh pattern to trade i do the buy at 0.786 or buy at 1.00 and the dow is actually within intraday got within watching the past uh five days 12,820 was the 10 was the five day high in the dow yeah again if, we, if this is five waves up then this is a wave two until pattern break wave three Highest target to have for a wave three if it's 1.618 times the move from 6,500 to 12,876 would be a wave um, wave three to as high as about uh, 20,715, which is my minimum target for, for a third wave. So this is wave one, wave two, and this pattern break wave three. Again, this pattern has worked for me 85% of the time. And if you go, if you go to my um, my website and look at the PDF files, um, wavegenius.com slash PDF, and you look at the PDF files. Whenever I call a third wave like this after a pattern break, the, the, not only does it rise in the third wave, it hits my target. And my target is uh, 20,715 in the Dow, and 85% of the time. So, look at the ones, look at the um, PDFs from the past few years that I've done this, and you'll see that, that 83 to 85% of the time I call this third wave, it happens. So, do not ignore me when I when I call a third wave like this because. This is so perfect. It's, it is uh, so ideal and uh, perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth wave is 0.618 times wave 1 plus wave 3. Zigzag wave 2 and pattern break wave 3. So for the Dow, the highest target I have, again, is 20,715. It was 1.618 times wave 1. For s and I'm going to go in more detail about my wave count so people can, um, can see where I'm, where I'm coming from. Because um, the more detail I give, the more uh, uh, believable. Well... I, I believe we're in a third wave, so but I want to convince everybody that this is this is a real deal because um, I don't want people to either get killed shorting this or, or miss out on the probably one of the it's it's not you don't get a third wave every year you get a third wave like once every every ten years and a third wave of this size has has a lot of potential to reach those targets anyway for S and P uh, move from six 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 to about nine fifty in the S&P from March to the uh, middle of uh, 09 was wave one. Dropped into zigzag wave two to about 880. Got a third wave, that's 1.618 times wave one to about 1220. Dropped then flash crash to uh, 1050 in the in S&P. And uh, the fifth wave, which is uh, 0.618 times wave one plus wave three, was exactly 0.618 times wave one plus wave three, because I remember that calling that, um, that fifth wave pattern. But anyway, we've got one, two, three, extension, um, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, that's 0.618 times wave one plus wave three. And then you dropped in a wave two back to the previous four around uh, 10, 1074 in the S&P in a, in a zigzag, A, B, C, with this, with this C wave that's about 0.618 times uh, wave A. So we got a wave two to the previous four, and then we get the pattern break wave three, which means, um, well, if we take out 1370, which is the top of the wave one, this is the pattern break setup. Five waves up, zigzag wave two, and then a pattern break wave three. We take out 1371 or 1370 in the S&P, which is probably going to happen in the next week. 
it'll set up the third wave. And uh, and since last week the the Facebook IPO news is, is, is big news. And uh, when Google um, came out of the IPO, it was during a a bottom in um, of August 2004. And the very next day, I, wait, I called a bottom that day. And the very next day there was the Google IPO. Google IPO came out and then drove a rally, a big rally for up. To, I think it was about I don't remember. It was about 10 percent rally in the indices. So uh, Facebook is actually even probably going to be even bigger than Google. So Facebook could actually be um, one of the drivers of this rally. But despite the Facebook IPO, the third wave setup was there anyway. So uh, again, five waves up. Third wave that's 1.618. Fifth wave that's 0.618 plus wave one plus wave three. Zigzag wave two, pattern break wave three. So 1370, if that breaks in the coming week, that'll set up a third wave. A pure third wave would be about uh, 1.618 times the move from 666 to about 1370. We'll target as high as uh, 2215 if it's a full 1.618 times wave one. And again, 85% of the time I've seen this pattern. This this is this is the most ideal pattern setup that I have. Uh, after five waves down like this, five waves down is probably the best pattern. One, two, three, four, five. You've caught the bottom in of uh, 2009. That was perfect five waves, and I call that bottom. And uh, 1.618 times wave one times wave three. After a pattern break, wave two is a is the ideal setup. My second favorite setup. First favorite setup is the five waves down. Second favorite setup is uh, one, two, three. Anyway, um, again, the full target for 1.618 times wave one is 2215,000 For NASDAQ, uh, we got five waves down to the bottom in, in 2009. Got wave one to uh, from 1280 to 1900, with small wave two to about 1700. Third wave is 1.618 times wave one to about 2540. Flash crash wave four, and then fifth wave, which is exactly 0.618 times wave one plus wave three. And then you dropped in a wave two and an ABC with a C wave that's 0.618 times wave A. And now we're setting up for the pattern break wave three. And today we were within 32 points of taking out that 2887 level. And that, and we take that out, which is more than likely in the next week or two. That would be wave one, wave two, pattern break wave three. And the full highest target error from NASDAQ would be as high as 4900. It was 1.618 times the the five-way pattern from a third from 1280 to about 2888. The full 1.618 would be 4900. And uh, again, 85% of the time, I'm not even joking. This is I've been doing this for 10 years. This is my favorite pattern break. Uh, this is my favorite pattern to trade off of. Well, in the past 10 years on, until I, I started trading five waves down. But uh, third pattern break is uh, the third wave would go 1.618 times wave one. So 4,900 to be the target, and that's that's like the conservative target. So, <laughs> 4,900 or 4,900 to 5,000 is a conservative target. NDX already broke out. Uh, we actually hit uh, 2,497 intraday, but um, we got five waves up NDX. Got a wave two. It's a, it's a pretty shallow wave two, but um, is that uh, that qualifies a wave two because SP down and Nasdaq all got wave twos. So I call this a wave two, and then we broke above the top of the wave one, which sets up the third wave. And the highest target half for the NDX is about 4,300 of its 1.618 times the move from about 1010 to 2420. And we're, we're well above that right now. 2420 was uh, the top of the wave one. We're, we're actually right in the right at the very beginning of the third wave. So um, basically don't ignore me when I call these third waves because and I, I think the, the more detail I gave you in, for my wave count, the better it is. And um, you, you, as you can see, it's a five wave impulse. Uh, let me get, show you an example. Um, S and P again. The five wave imp, the five wave impulse in S and P is perfect. One point six one eight times wave one, wave three, and point and fifth wave that's point six one eight times wave one plus wave three. So, if you haven't if you're not convinced yet, then um, I'll be doing this every week and I'll be updating the, the long term wave count. So, um, uh, just just. Uh, if you're in, if you're a long-term holder, just, just wait every week, and I'll do a long-term count. So, just to emphasize um, the fact that I believe that third waves are forming in the indices, and this could be about a three to five-year bull market to those targets. That's a wrap.